Welcome back everyone, or anyone. <laughs> um, back to Miss Survival. Let me turn the volume down a little bit there. Alright, I have been busy for a while, as you can see. Uh, just like everyone else that's ever played the game or started to, um, I found the White House and made it mine, which pretty much everyone does, I guess. Uh, so, anyway, put some of this chicken wire fencing stuff over the windows. I put the um, uh, workbench on the outside covering the window first, and they were not able to get in. In the other room here, I had a locker put in front, but they were able to bust that out and break the locker and still come in. So what I did here was I built the furnace, and they were able to bust the window out, but they still can't get in because the furnace is in the way and it can't be destroyed. So that kept them out. But apparently, I guess, just chicken wire keeps them out. Uh, let's see here. Back here, I got a bunch of empty suitcases and that. I need to reorganize my truck. So welcome to my base. So here we have the generator. Uh, good for three more days. Uh, we can add some more fuel to it. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I, I left enough room to be able to come back here and still and be able to access my my forge or the the anvil and that. Uh, oh, an extra log, cool. All right, um, I have two more tires inside, so I can finish this off. He's already got everything except the two tires and gas. I guess I can put this tiny little bit in there. Ain't gonna help. Ain't gonna make a difference, but I'm gonna have to go out and make another gas run. So okay. Uh, there's nothing in the garage. I haven't messed with it at all. But more importantly, we have a tree house. Look at that. That awesome or what? So you come over here and climb up your wall. Now, for some reason, you can. Well, okay, never mind. I guess when I was building it, it put a collider and it wouldn't let me um, get this far. But now that it's already built, I'm able to just climb right up. So now you can do whatever you want all night long and they'll never get you from up here uh, they can't climb as far as I know they've never been able to open doors or climb Give me that log. I just don't know if you want to chop your tree down oh, you can, oh, I put the collider all the way up here I thought for sure that uh, most games where you're not expected to climb this high they would stop the collider like halfway up the tree looks like he went all the way up with it so yeah, here we have a tree house. So first thing I did was place the tree house um, at the lowest height possible. And then it's not actually a tree house, it's the cabin. I'm calling it a tree house because it's in a tree. But um, put it at the lowest possible snapping point. Then you come over here when you're on the ground and you build this wall. The one with the ladder and then that'll allow you well what I had to do when I placed it like this was this these stairs weren't here so I was able to walk across here and these stairs weren't there either so I was able to stand right here on these wood pieces and be able to see it to be able to build it so I could stand here and build all night long during fog events and everything because I, I was up here and they can't get me so we can run around the entire area jump on the roof and continue on and we can even climb on up the water tower there's the workbench Ooh, a stick I realized I was ignoring the hard sticks until I realized I really needed them for some things and now it's like every time I find them I pick them up because they're, they're, they're getting kind of tough to find and when you need two to for a hatchet hammer or a handle or something yeah then you don't have it so I just I just fall down here I don't seem to take damage when I do that so for some reason this water got contaminated don't know how it got to be unsafe I had to build a second one 
and I make sure that no matter what, it only gets the fresh water put in there. Which reminds me, I need to go out and get some. I guess we can turn that off. Yeah, the way I place these, I can get the truck in and out, but it's not the easiest thing. So yeah, that is my base, and I've always been exploring going up here where the military area is right there and all the way back down that way towards uh i really never went too much farther past the uh what is that the um shit uh that get uh, not the get well past the gas station a little bit um there's that little garage area down there where you get the where you get the truck uh, I really haven't gone too much farther past that. I have gone through the woods a little bit there, and I guess around the road, if you wanted to, would end up being the um, the lumber mill. But I usually don't go that far. So for the first time uh, was today, I went that way and over that way down the road. Found the sniper pretty damn fast. That was entertaining. It's like, hey, fall over dead. And get rocks when you can. Because sometimes you need them. And then these branches make sticks, which are come in handy sometimes. So anyway, uh, so I just reloaded. And, you know, if you save often, you can just reload. You don't have to revive and lose your, lose your stuff. So anyway, uh, I found, like, a, a house over there bunch of cars got a bunch of fuel and stuff which I was able to get like 14 liters or whatever it is inside there um, oh, water that's what I was doing so we take the water from the bucket put it in here fill that puppy up make some firewood so anyway almost died they had a fog event I thought standing on my car would actually allow me to kill them without them hitting me but no even standing on the hood of the truck they were able to own my ass so that was entertaining I survived but I had it was down to like right here where the A is and I realized you can't see half the shit on my screen well at least you can see the important stuff right, give me a second let me let me pause that and fix it sorry about that the video is going to almost over anyway but you know playing in 4k I tend to forget that the other you know that this thing doesn't record in 4k well I mean it will but I have to adjust the size of the, of the screen there we go so now you can see everything treehouse just in case you missed it <coughs> there we go. Let's take a screenshot of that, shall we? There we go. So yeah, I haven't found much of a use for leather. I mean, I, I could do some more crafting, I guess. I haven't dived into everything it has to offer as far as what I can make and not make. Let's see. So, let's see, I take that dried bit and I make this stuff. I have plenty of that inside already. So I've made a screwdriver and the batteries and I got into the hotel room. I don't need a watering can yet. Uh, my crowbar's still okay. I haven't encountered a lot of locked rooms yet. Uh, small animal trap hasn't done shit for me yet. I haven't unlocked much of that, as you can see. Uh, I do need to make some more arrows because I'm out. I, mean, I don't know that why I would need a tactical quiver. I mean, I don't even use the bow and arrow as it is. The, uh, the lining up doesn't work right. It, sh it it hits. You have to aim to the right of what you want to hit just a little bit instead of aiming down the arrow. Um, I guess I could make a t-shirt. I already have boots and a regular shirt. Uh, I don't know where to get more electronic parts. I don't know if I could make them or not. Or if I just have to find them somewhere because I haven't found them anywhere. 
Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I haven't messed with that, but seeing these rocks, gotta pick them up. Uh, metal scraps. Yeah, I can't make them. I haven't found iron ingots yet, and I haven't found copper. I can, or maybe I can make the iron. Yeah, I think, yeah, I can melt down these and make them. But I can't make the other ones yet. Yeah, I can't make the iron. I've made a few axes, and this is why you need the hard sticks. Um, I could make a pickaxe. That's what I think I'll do next. I'll, I'm gonna, I need eight bars. All right, let's go, wait, what do I got on me? Nothing. Okay, let's go get some. Let's melt some scrap down. Let's see here. Oh, wrong stuff. Go back there. There's you. There's you. Yeah, I got stuff everywhere because I was in a hurry. I, in that foggy vent, I wanted to get out of it. So I just started just slamming stuff in here. Man, I certainly did not grab a lot. I thought I had more scrap metal than that. I'm gonna have to go out on a scrap metal run. I'm not gonna do that now, but definitely gonna have to focus on it and just make only that till the ax is just dead. Oops, wrong thing. We wanna do this. Well, apparently I already got some in there. All right, I got two. Okay. Let's just throw those in there. All right, that'll make eight of them. So let's go ahead and do that. And then what do I need for the pickaxe? Okay, that'll give me that'll give me eight, and then I need eight wood. I think I have that inside. I think I have some of the ingots already inside too. Let's. Just, I'm trying to keep stuff organized, but it just ain't working. This is where I've been putting like the extra weapons and stuff that and and stuff that I pick up like the hammers and stuff. But I got the uh, keeping the one hammer because this one's only three percent, so it's gonna die soon. Let's see here. See, there's the the bow and some tips. But there we go. There's some ingots. Now I got five, so I need it to make some for me out there. And there's the wood. I think it said four, right? So here I can do this. Split it in half. There we go. Or did it say eight? You know what? I'm just going to take it just to be safe. I don't know what the cigarette's good for. I don't know. Can you use it? Can you smoke it? I mean, it doesn't say use it. Let's split it. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I don't know what it's good for. I think there was something about being able to make some torches for the ground. There's your beds, drying racks and stuff. I mean, I could work on making a moonshine still and a repair bench. I haven't done those yet. And a reloading bench. Oh, I can't do the reloading. That's copper. I need the pickaxe and I need to find the mine. So it's going to be time to start exploring soon. I mean, now that I got the base going and everything, I got a bunch of food and stuff. Yeah, it's not done yet. Melt. Melt, damn you. It's like the only thing you do that doesn't speed up time while it's doing it. Let's see there. Let's see what else we got. I made all of these. Made that. And the water purifier, the generator. I haven't made a trash bin because I really don't care. But I don't know what this is. I mean, why does this... I guess that's... Uh, I mean, you can click on it, but I don't think it tells you what it is you need to build. Let's just take it in the house just in case. Let's rotate it. I mean, I... Well, whatever it is, I'm building something. Okay, this is interesting. Wow. Okay. I can't, I don't seem to be able to use it. I mean, based on the storyline he's talking about, where he's like, you know, everything changed, or aliens did this to us or something. I'm wondering if that's to like, you know, communicate with other survivors. I don't know. Maybe he plans on making a multiplayer and you can use this to chat with other players or, um, 
I don't know, maybe you call in military airstrikes or something. Who knows? It's all speculation at this point. Okay, so now, close the door. I don't think they can get in here. They haven't yet. But we can go up here and walk around and go, hey, homie. I'm up here, homie. See, now I kind of wish I had the bow and arrow and just, you know, the cheap arrows and I can just play around by trying to shoot them here. <coughs> oh, look at that Z fighting. I'm up here, homie. Oh, I missed him. Oh, well. Who else we got? You got anybody else running around out here? Yeah, see, now I'm wishing I would have made a few more of those with that little notch in it so I could, you know, see, you know, like that one right there. So I could see over it. Oh, there's another one. So they don't attack the wall. All right, that's interesting. That's good to know. There we go. All right. Well, that didn't bring anyone else running. Cool. I'm gonna have to go out there and get my get my spear after this. Whoa, homie! Why is he not dying with that? Okay. How did he get me up here? Alright, that's definitely interesting. He should not be reaching me up here at all. How did he get up here? That is uncool. And now he's inside my base. That's all right. My door's closed, so that means when the sun comes up, he's going to get roasty toasty. But at least we know he can't climb up here because he, because he didn't. I wonder if I ran this fence line around like one of their spawn points, and when he spawned, he just dropped on top of it and was here. That's the only way I could see him getting here. Because there's no ramp to run up to get up here. But see, there's like a rock up here. I found a stick up here earlier, too. Of course, now I used all my damn shotgun shells on that dude, and he didn't die. How did he get up here? That is really confusing me. He's standing by that ladder over there, but he's not climbing. Oh, that's interesting. All right, well, okay. Just sleep it off. Well, I thought he was up here. died at my doorstep. You fool. Wow. I can't believe there was someone inside here. Oh yeah. I can go back and check this out now. I'm bothered by that. Hmm. They stack pretty well, too. Okay. Holy crap. See, now I'm concerned about them getting inside my base where I'm just running around. I mean, I don't run around at night too much, you know, but it would be nice to not have to worry about it. Okay, so what can we make? All right, I've made all this. That, 
that, that. I haven't made a sledgehammer, but I don't, I don't have iron. I only have the low quality. What good is a shovel? Oh, I guess that's for the garden, maybe? And brass. Damn. Got a lot of Z fighting in this game. Look at that. Okay. Hey, can I upgrade this? I have that. I don't have four gears though. I mean, I have that. That's a military canister or something. I have one. At least I did. It was on my truck. So I don't want the electric light. I thought there was like a torch that I could put in the ground. Take a look here. Yeah, I was messing with that and I built that, whatever that is. Okay, I need that to build the watchtower. Okay, alright. I haven't built this stuff yet. Do I automatically get chickens? I mean, how do I get chickens? How do I capture them? And those are for powered. These are beds only. Alright, here it is. Here's the bamboo torch thing. Do I have to give them fuel? says gas can. Oh, they're both empty. That's right. Alright. Let's see here. What about another one? Just so I can try to light this up a little bit out here. I need to stop. These are just regular sticks. Alright. Blueberries. Drink some water. And maybe another one. Okay. That way I can reach it from the window. Now I'm going to have to make a food run here shortly, too. So what we're going to do is call it a day. Let's see here. That's 1.97. That's not going to fill that one up completely, but it will fill this one off. And we'll just wait because when that reaches two, it'll fill that. Give me that stick, man. Stick, stick. How many sticks is that? sticks. There we go. Go ahead and eat that and get rid of it. So let's drop the rocks, drop the sticks. Now let it put them all together. Put that up there. Uh, might as well turn that into firewood because I'm going to want firewood later anyway. Just so I don't have to carry it around with me, we will automatically add it there. Oh wait, those can be combined. Just preparing to end the game here, or stop the game. Let's see here. Now we'll just put the iron there, put those there, move the pick over, keep the hammer. And the axe is at 64, so... Yep, so come tomorrow, I'm going to have to go out and make a, a fuel run and um, a gear run for that. So we save the game. And we call it a night, and I will see everyone later.